Today we will be solving systems by substitution. And in these systems, and when we solve them by substitution, we are going to be seeing that we're going to need to use the distributive property. So first of all, when we are solving systems, and the only reason why I would use substitution is if I can isolate my variable, or I see that there is a variable that I can easily isolate. And I see on this first problem that I have 3x plus y equals a negative 8. And then all I have to do is get this 3x to go onto the opposite side by adding its inverse. That I can easily see that now I have y by itself. And then I have this expression, which is negative 3x minus 8. So this tells me right here that this expression is going to be plugged into the other equation. So by writing down the other equation, negative 2x minus y equals 6, I know that wherever I see a y, I'm going to plug it in to the y that's in the second equation. So what do we do when we plug in? We rewrite the equation. We leave a parenthesis where the variable should be, and then I will have um, then I will have to plug that in. And in this case, I'm going to plug in a negative three x minus eight. So here we go. Let's go ahead and simplify. Negative two x, a negative, and a negative is a positive. So the opposite of negative three x is a positive three x. And a negative times a negative, which is the opposite of negative 8, is a positive 8. And that all equals 6. Looks like we could do some combining like terms. We have 3x and a negative 2x, which leaves us x plus 8 equals 6. We are then going to subtract or add a negative 8 to both sides. That gives me 0. And when I bring my x down, 6 minus 8 is a negative two. So right here, ladies and gentlemen, in our solution, we already have the x value, which is a negative two. Awesome, right there. Now, as I've said in, in class, that we go box to box. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna plug that negative two for x into the x that is right here. So here we go, let's go ahead and write our equation, leaving a parentheses where the variable was, and then we're going to plug in this negative two. So when we see y equals negative three times a negative two is a positive six minus eight, and therefore y is equal to a negative two as well. So ladies and gentlemen, I can go ahead and plug in my solution of negative two, negative two, and that tells me that's where the, in this system, where the point of intersection of those two lines are. All right, let's try another one. That was pretty cool. The next equation we'll go ahead and bring on out. So we see, hmm, what is something simple? I still, that top, that top equation, I could simplify that a little bit more. So I have negative x plus y equals 8. Now this negative x, I can go ahead and pull over to the other side. So I'm going to add an x to both sides. This creates 0. Therefore, y is equal to x plus 8. Eight. So I can see right here that x plus 8 represents y, and so I could plug, wherever I see a y into the second equation, I can plug in x plus 8. So here we go. Let's write out 3x minus 2y equals a negative 7. Now my next step, I'm going to rewrite the equation. Wherever I see the y variable, I'm going to put a parenthesis and then rewrite the rest. And inside that parentheses, I am going to plug in, bam, right there, the x plus 8. 
So now it's time for me to do some distributive property. So I'm gonna write the three X down. Negative two times X is a negative two X. A negative two times a positive eight is a negative 16, which equals a negative seven. Looks like I need, on the left-hand side, I need to combine like terms. So 3x minus 2x is x minus 16 equals a negative 7. So to get that negative 16 over, I'm going to add 16 to both sides. Therefore, that becomes 0. I bring my x down, and so I have x equals 16 minus 7 is nine. So in this solution, my solution over here, when I have an ordered pair, my x value is going to equal nine. So let's go box to box. We're going to have y equals, I'm going to put my parentheses where that nine goes. I'm going to plug in my nine. And I easily can see that y equals 9 plus 8, which is 17. And so there's my y value. y equals 17. So ladies and gentlemen, doing distributive property, we know that key fundamental of how to distribute it to each term inside the parentheses. And so everything you can do solving this, solving these systems by substitution using distributive property, piece of cake. Just remember our answer is the solution or the ordered pair where the point of intersection between the two lines meet. All right, thank you so much for joining us. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel so you know when our next videos come out and you guys have a great day, bye.